um, Honorable uh, Minister of Justice, uh, Director of uh, the uh, Law Faculty of uh, the Catholic uh, University, President of uh, the Union um, Association of Portuguese Judges, um, Vice President of Medell. Ladies and gentlemen, to, to debate and reflect on the rule of law in Europe is nowadays not only a thematic occasion, but also something that uh, is of uh, a hard uh, pressing need uh, within the the EU founded on values like respect for fundamental rights, um, democracy, and the rule of law. Um, having, take, uh, having been accepted as consensual, the EU faces nowadays um, internal uh, currents uh, that may endanger the path taken already. The quick reforms uh, taken uh, by political trends um, e emerging or resurgent uh, in Hungary and Poland. Um, increased the political influence in the judicial power and weakened the, in its independence through the change of the rules of appointment of, or exoneration in access to the constitutional court, uh, higher courts, um, bodies um, of the prosecutor's office or the control of inspection or the disciplinary processes of magistrates. Um, but other member states like Romania, Bulgaria or Slovakia also cause a concern regarding judicial independence. And besides that, um, the pandemic of uh, COVID-19, besides the immediate impact in health and economy, also created a wide and diversified set of challenges for society and more specifically for the public administrations and, and the legal and constitutional systems. Um, this particular context um, highlighted even more the essential nature of the independence of courts uh, for the formation of uh, a rule of law through the possibility of resorting to independent court uh, and uh, the jurisdictional inspection against um, uh, uh, likely and un unjustified uh, overcomings um, of uh, legality. The fight against corruption is uh, likewise essential for the preservation of the rule of law. A high index uh, of uh, perception of corruption undermines uh, the confidence in uh, uh, public authorities. It is fundamental for the uh, institutions responsible for the compliance of uh, penal law can work efficiently, independently and impartially. Um, uh, to, to have um, a case law in terms of uh, the uh, European uh, Court uh, of Law and uh, of human rights, so that the rule of law can consecrate principles with legality that requires uh, a transparent uh, and democratic and pluralistic uh, process, uh, um, legal uh, assurance, uh, the prohibition of uh, arbitrary execution of the executive power, the effect of uh, tutelage uh, by um, impartial and independent courts and including the respect for fundamental rights. Therefore, as well as the principles of suppression of powers and equality before the law. The respect of the rule of law is essential for citizens and companies to trust in public institutions. We have more and more frequent attacks uh, that are political in nature and uh, campaigns orchestrated in the mass media against the judges and the prosecutors uh, trying to decredibilize uh, the justice system in the uh, public opinion. So th in that way, can carry out a greater control on criminal investigation and the exercise of penal actions. The efficiency of the, the judicial system presupposes its independence. Um, and sustain that a greater control of political power on the judicial system would allow us to help its efficiency is um, a hoax, um, a strategy outlined with only one purpose, um, to distort its functioning and prevent uh, 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 that some of them are not reached, um, in essence, to generate a manifest inequality in treatment before the law. Fighting corruption presupposes um, as well that the judicial uh, power and the public prosecutor's office and the bodies responsible for applying the law can have financing human resources, um, technical capacities, and enough specialization. The independence of national courts is fundamental 
to ensure um, uh, an effective judicial uh, tutelage, um, to ensure that independence, um, they must be subjected to the classification and the disciplinary uh, power of the councils that can give guarantees of independence in their composition and appointment, uh, as well as the method of uh, um, appointment. Um, we must respect the laws of separation of powers and transparency. This demand is also extended to the public prosecutors. Uh, as we see, sustained in a decision already mentioned and recent from the uh, European Court of Human Rights uh, uh, following the Council of European and International Instruments um, um, sent on the 5th of May 2020. The independence of the prosecutors is a key element um, for the maintenance of judicial independence. Um, the prosecutors uh, must be called to participate in the reforms on the judiciary systems and should have an active voice in public debates when those reforms can compromise their independence. The independence of the courts and um, the uh, prosecutor's office is uh, essential. Uh, mm, uh, they can put in uh, question the legal basis um, in a uh, last instance uh, their own substance. Medal, as in its origins, uh, continued to have a relevant role in the defense uh, of the independence of the judiciary system and in the promotion of the democratic rule of law as uh, the cornerstone of our uh, societies and our common identity. Thank you very much.